Hi, it's Anfa. Today I'm going to show you how to quickly replace a lot of objects in Inkscape without doing it manually. The first thing before we begin is to make sure that you're running Inkscape version 0.98 or later because otherwise it's not going to work. All right, so let's begin. So you've got your objects that you spend a lot of time placing carefully one by one and now you realize you need to use different objects and you don't want to do it just by hand once again. No problem. First thing is to select all the objects you want to replace and look down and see what the number is. Is displayed here on the bottom end. 148 objects. That's a lot. The next thing is we have two objects here. So I've placed uh, red circles and I want to replace them with blue squares. So I need to first make as much blue squares as there are red circles right now. I'm not going to be doing this by hand because there is a tool for that. Go to edit, clone, Create tiled clones with the blue square selected. Now you have here rows, columns. By default, it's go two by two. But I put one here and how much was that? 120, 148. This is one, so let's do 147. Now, simple translation, shift. It's minus 80. Well, I'm not sure how these work right now, but it doesn't really matter because even if you place all the objects in the same place, it's gonna work. Now we have a little bar made of these and you can see that there are 148 of them too. Okay, so the next thing is to find the tool that will replace our objects. And this is to be found, object, arrange, no, sorry, not arrange. This is to be found, object, align and distribute. And there's a part called rearrange. And you've got several options here. What we want to do is make sure that the blue squares are higher in the stack than the red circles. So I just select all of the blue squares and rise them to, to the top of the stack to make sure that they are above. Why? Because the tool I'm going to use depends on the order of the stack. Now I will select with shift drag all the objects. So I have the blue square selected and the red circles total 296 objects. And now there's a little tool right here in this part. It's called exchange positions of related of selected objects stacking order. And then just press it. You can see that one red circle is actually turned into a blue square. Now if I press this button again, another one goes and another and another. And actually, if we go to the blue square bar, you can see that it's like a progress bar. And as I'm clicking, The blue squares are being replaced by red circles. Now, I know it's a little bit tedious to click this all the way through hundreds of objects, but you can use a space bar and just hold it. And it's gonna be slow. If you tap the space bar, it's gonna be a little bit faster. However, this is a little bit, I think, computationally intensive, so 
it's just gonna take some time but you don't need to pay any attention you just click just tap the spacebar but how does it work uh, first you need to press this button with your mouse so it's selected you might not know this but there's a tiny little line behind be <laughs> not behind below this button tiny little line which is highlighting this button which means that it's selected when I press left or right you can see that this highlight is moving so actually space will activate whatever button is highlighted right now now the fun thing is that you have two probably you have two palms and you can just you know play a drum roll on this but if you go too far and it can be because if you're pressing too fast and the computer is too slow you might go too far let's do this like now we're in the perfect situation all objects are replaced but if you mess up and some of them are now getting back just undo with Control z like everything okay that's all thanks for watching i hope that you found this useful And, well, I'm not very frequently making tutorials like this, but if you'd like to see more or you have some questions about software, actually open source software, ask them in the comments. I might record some more tutorials. I mostly make electronic music and sing. If you're interested in that, you can subscribe to my channel or take a look around. Enjoy and be free. Bye.